Greeting to all of you. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the news program of 22 Hours Channel. We will continuously update the last news and information about the social and political situation at home and abroad. Now let's see what not able news we have for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, Beijing Xinhua News Agency reported that, due to the general influence of the residual cloud system of the No. 5 storm and cold air, some areas such as Shandong, Hanan, Hebei, Liaoning, and Heilongjiang will be affected. There are heavy to very heavy rains and local heavy rains. Currently, the provinces are trying their best to cope with heavy rain and possible floods. The Shandong Provincial Meteorological Observatory predicts that from Tuesday afternoon to Wednesday afternoon, Liaoqing, Dezhou, Xinzhou, Dongying, Zibo, Weifeng, Seozhuang, Lini and Rajao will experience heavy rain. There will be heavy rain and local heavy rain, other areas will have moderate rain, some places with heavy rain, some places with very heavy rain or local heavy rain, with thunder, lightning, strongest of wind at level 7, and thunderstorms likely possibility of natural disasters caused by lightning strikes. The Shandong Provincial Meteorological Observatory issued a blue storm warning signal and a yellow lightning warning signal on Tuesday afternoon. Meteorological experts remind that it is necessary to be prepared in case of heavy rain, thunder, strong winds, etc. The Traffic Management Department needs to take measures to regulate traffic on roads with heavy rainfall. Traffic Guidance on Flooded Roads Actively take measures to strengthen port facilities and prevent ships from anchoring, running aground, or crashing. In addition, people need to stop outdoor activities and dangerous outdoor activities and other activities. People in dangerous areas and residents of dilapidated houses try to get to sheltered places to keep out the wind. On Tuesday, there was heavy to very heavy rain and localized heavy rain in most parts of Hunan province. At 6 p.m. On Monday, Hanan launched a four-level emergency response to control flooding in the province. According to the forecast, the main rain areas are distributed in Zhengzhou, Kaifeng, Shenkyu, Chuku, Sucheng, Bindensun, Tinduong, Lakhar, Truk Madim, and northern Hanan. Accumulated rainfall during the whole process will reach from 30 to 80 mm, in some places from 80 to 120 mm, especially in places from 150 to 200 mm. The maximum rainfall intensity is from 50 to 70 mm slash hour. According to the regulations, the Flood Prevention Index of Hanan Province has decided to start the province's four-level flood prevention emergency response from 6 p.m. on Monday. At present, all levels of departments in the province have been appointed to effectively implement many preventive measures in order to ensure the safety of people's lives and properties and minimize damage caused by natural disasters. The Hebei Provincial Meteorological Observatory forecasts that from Wednesday to Thursday, the central and eastern areas of Hebei province will experience heavy rain, heavy to very heavy rain in some areas, and heavy rainstorms. Local The Hebei Provincial Meteorological Bureau issued a four-level emergency response plan for heavy stormy weather at 5.30 p.m. On Tuesday, requesting the relevant units of the Provincial Meteorological Bureau to immediately switch to a state of emergency. For level emergency response, and do a good job of four-level emergency response to storms. Carry out a 24-hour emergency shift and do your best to do a good job of emergency response, providing weather forecast and early warning information. The meteorological departments of cities should pay attention to monitor the weather situation, promptly adjust the level of emergency response and guide the meteorological departments of cities and districts to do well in forecasting and warning. Early and Hydrometeorological Services According to the Weather Bureau's forecast, from 8 p.m. on Tuesday to 8 a.m. On Friday, there will be heavy to very heavy rain in Shenyang, with a maximum rainfall of about 50 mm per hour. Shenyang City Education Bureau issued an emergency notice on Tuesday. From Wednesday to Friday, Shenyang City will have heavy rain, during which children will be banned from kindergarten. The Department of Education of Shenyang City requires the top leaders of education management departments at all levels and schools in the city to directly deploy, inspect, and prepare comprehensively for emergencies. Immediately organize local schools including private schools, private educational institutions, kindergartens, etc. 
to conduct potential safety hazard investigations and evacuate students from school during school holidays, excluding classes in Xinjiang and classes in Tibet as soon as possible to ensure that no one is present. Each school will stay one person to prevent heavy rain, flooding and school wall collapse causing casualties and property damage, ensuring no student deaths. It is necessary to strengthen inspection and maintenance of important parts such as school laboratories, libraries, toxic chemicals, transformer stations, green campus, fences, etc. to prevent secondary natural disasters. The Heilongjiang Provincial Meteorological Department forecasts that from Tuesday to Thursday, the province will have heavy rain from west to east, with heavy rain in many places, heavy rain locally. Meteorological experts said that the intensity of this rain was large, with a maximum rain intensity of 50 mm slash hour, with a wide range, accompanied by thunderstorms and strongest of wind, which piled up on the previous rainy area, and the extent of the impact, is expected to be very large, and urban flooding and agricultural and flooding are likely to occur. Heilongjiang Province Flood and Drought Prevention Headquarters said that, According to the analysis of the main rainfall area range and precipitation value, flooding is likely to occur in many medium-sized rivers in Heilongjiang province, and the province has officially issued a four-level emergency, responding to floods. Based on analysis of the current water situation, the Water Conservation Department estimates that mainstream flooding of medium-sized rivers such as the Holand River and the Woken River occurs almost every five years and the mainstream flooding of medium-sized rivers such as the Tangwang River, the Lalan River and the Ant River about every 5 to 10 years. The aforementioned tributaries and small rivers such as the Ingodong River, the Polish River, the Northwest River, the Chalan River, the Feiketu River, the Shaolin River, and the Magnolia River may meet every 10 to 20 years. Ladies and gentlemen, since last weekend, the first tropical depression of this year and the southwest monsoon cloud system have brought heavy rain to parts of Guangdong and heavy rain in some areas, China Meteorological News reported. The city of Xinyi heavy rain caused flooding, a broken bridge caused a bus to fall off the bridge, fortunately everyone was rescued. The broken bridge is located near Taejong Primary School on Provincial Road 370. At about 9 a.m. On Saturday, reporters at the scene saw that half of the bridge's arch had collapsed, leaving the bridge deck lying bare under torrid river below. The machine is clearing rocks from the river, a line of staff standing on the road is broken to direct the rescue work and maintain order at the scene. It is known that around 1 m this morning, high floods broke the bridge, causing a bus to fall into the river. Fortunately, all nine people in the car were rescued without serious problems. At around 2.30 am, Taejong High School evacuated the teachers living in the staff dormitory in the Eastern District. The accident also disrupted traffic to and from downtown Xinyi and the town of Beiji across the bridge. The official microblog of Xinyi Meteorology said that as of 3 am today, there were heavy rainstorms in Andai with 229 mm of rain and 120 mm in BAC Joey Town. Before the disaster, Xinyi City Meteorological Observatory issued a red rainstorm warning and mountain flood warning. The City Meteorological Department, the Bureau of Natural Resources and Land jointly issued a level 1 warning. Geological Disaster Risk Previously, Tandai had just encountered a record torrential rain, causing flash floods and flooding of dikes, leaving eight people dead and four missing. Currently, the restoration of production after the disaster in Xinyi City is still underway and this heavy rain will have a negative impact on disaster relief and resumption of production. According to the Guangdu Meteorological Observatory forecast, from Saturday to Sunday, there will still be moderate thunderstorms and local heavy rain in western Guangdong, including Xinyi. China Meteorological News Agency reported that Ningxin County, Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region has experienced heavy rainfall. The rainfall at four stations in the district has exceeded 100 mm and the maximum rainfall at one station is 114. Sixum. Yesterday, the Ninthan District Meteorological Department issued an important weather report, reminding relevant departments to prepare for heavy rainfall and pay attention to prevent secondary disasters such as urban flooding, agricultural land flooding, small and medium river floods, mountain floods, landslides. The Bureau of Meteorology closely monitors and promptly calls government offices emergency management, 
urban flood control, town governments, and other departments to report rainfall and weather information. Information in a timely manner, as a basis for decision making. At 9.51 today, a blue storm warning signal was issued. All departments, towns, villages and streets quickly responded, deployed flood prevention and search and rescue. In the process of handling rainfall, the District Meteorological Department has issued two periods of blue storm warning signals. Two periods of meteorological information, one period of important weather reports, seven times of rain notifications. Within three hours, six phone calls and SMS rain special forecast messages promoted the role of hydrometeorology as a notification tree, the first shot in prevention, mitigation, and disaster relief. On this day, BAC Zhang Hongfang passed through Andex City, Guangdong Province smoothly and so far there have been no casualties. Currently, sanitation workers in Andex City are busy cleaning up a large amount of silt and garbage after the water recedes. At 2 p.m. yesterday, Monitoring showed that the water level of Endex Station on the mainstream of BAC Zhang River had peaked at 35.97 meters, exceeding the warning level of 9.97 meters. There are three feeder rivers in Endex, BAC Zhang River, Fuk Zhang River and Lying Zhang River, and 16 tributaries with rain collection area of more than 100 kilometers squared. Since last week, the local area has started to experience heavy rainfall continuously, causing this city located in the middle and lower reaches of the BAC Zhang River to be severely flooded. High intensity, prolonged and widespread rainfall is the main cause of the current flood in Endek. As the three rivers meet, rainfall in the upper reaches of the river in the early stages of flowing down Endek increases the possibility of flooding. Red Rainstorm Warning, First Level Flood Control Emergency Response Faced with the risk of heavy rain and flooding, the whole of Endek acted quickly. We focus on precipitation process, surface precipitation, and reservoir precipitation in the middle and upper reaches of BAC Zhang, Fuk Zhang, and Lion Zhang rivers. The person in charge of the British Germany Meteorological Department emphasized and focused on providing water conservation departments with real-time rain notifications and forecasts 1 hour, 3 hours, 6 hours, 12 hours. On the day before yesterday, the flood did not go through the first floor of many houses in QDOU town, but slowly rose to the second floor. Many people were trapped inside. It is expected that in the next one hour there will still be heavy rainfall from 50 mm to 60 mm. Recommend to relocate and evacuate people immediately. The Andex City Meteorological Department immediately called the mayor of Yankee out of town. An ex-special police patrol team quickly and rescue workers stood on kayaks and used their backs as ladders to successfully transform more than 20 people trapped. As the district-level city with the largest inland area in Guangdong province, Endek has complex terrain, dense population, and flood control requires highly detailed forecasting ability. The Endek City Meteorological Department has implemented an early warning mechanism for small towns based on the conclusions of the grid forecast calling to remind people to take defensive measures for easy to towns. Natural disasters, small and medium-sized reservoirs, potential geological hazards. In mountainous areas, towns and villages use loudspeakers and gongs to remind the masses to prevent natural disasters and avoid danger. The Andex City Emergency Headquarters has issued a notice about the relocation of personnel in some areas, requiring the immediate evacuation of people living in the designated area and buildings with two floors or less including both floors, and all occupants of dilapidated houses and old communities were evacuated. In response to urban flooding, the British Department of Conservation of Germany sent an emergency service team to conduct a comprehensive survey of urban roads, dredging waterlogged spots, and at the same time working good work warning and safety barrier. At the same time, Nearly 100 soldiers from Than Nguyen military sub-region reinforced the dike to prevent the flood of Khao Anak BAC junk during the night. At 2010 on the same day, the Andak City Meteorological Department lifted the city's red rainstorm warning and the yellow thunderstorm and gusty warning signal. Although the heavy rain has stopped, the water level in the rivers is still high. The British Germany Meteorological Department continues to secure meteorological information for flood control and disaster relief, and for their works according to the needs of flood control and disaster relief. Currently, the soil is saturated with water content, later hot weather can lead to loose soil, 
The risk of secondary disasters such as landslides and landslides is very high. At the same time, the high temperature weather will easily cause health and disease prevention risks after the flood and affect the dredging work of Endex City. The Bureau of Meteorology reminded that relevant departments need to focus on investigating the potential hazards of geological disasters and that inspection, cleaning and disinfection work in the areas have been carried out. Our newsletter for today is here to end, please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. The recent information concludes our new bulletin. Thank you all for your interest and viewership. Please like, share and comment on the video to reach more viewers. Once again, on behalf of the entire team, I thank you for watching. Goodbye for now and see you again.